Morning. Morning. Now, usually, well, one of our regular spots on this trip, we're in Denny's, we're actually in a different one today. We've walked up I drive. We just did the quick vlog and said we were going for pastries at I Icon. And as we walked past the Denny's, I said to Gemma, do you want to just get a Denny's? Like, yeah. I was in that Yeah, you're hungry, aren't you? But I think I'm going to get like a, a sandwich today rather than a breakfast. I went for a turkey sandwich with cheese and bacon. And Gemma got, what was it, French toast? French toast, yeah. Obviously with eggs and sausage. Enjoy. We sat eating our uh, breakfast, well, brunch there, and Gemma went, there's a spirit at Halloween right next door, isn't there? And yeah, there's an escape place here. There is a massive And then this one's opened as a spirit, ha spirit <laughs> Halloween for the, uh, the season. So we'll have a quick look in here as well while we're here. Look, you can get one of these and do the fire dancing. <laughs> These shops are very similar, whichever one you go to, I think. There was the one shirt that I really wanted, the Conjuring of no, Lucifer, or possibly the Portal to the Cat Dimension, but I've not seen them in stock. No, that's just the familiar one. Yeah. The Creep Show one. It's not even that one, the Creep Show They've one. They've sold really well, haven't you? You see loads of people wearing these yeah. in Halloween Horror Nights. It's like, okay, you see loads of them over here, but you don't see many of them in the UK. And Gemma's found the one thing she wanted to buy. A little clutch bag. It's a purse, isn't it? I think it's got a... It says it's a crossbody. I think it's got a... Um... Oh yeah, it does have a strap. It's a big it? handle. Right. Hey, I you mean, got it's it? only little. I'm glad we came in here now. Are you buying it? Oh yeah. <laughs> she picked the, picked the bag up, unzipped it, pulled the hair out of it. I'll get one from the back and then she went, I think it's just clown hair. It's like out of context. It was, it was clown hair. <laughs> and she spots this one, is tempted by this one as well. <laughs> Do you know what? If that didn't say Nightmare on Elm Street on it, I might consider it just for wearing red legs. This one seems to be much better stocked than the other one. A lot of the stuff that Gemma likes the look of is in here. Yeah, it's a lot more hidden away, but it's right on iDrive, so I don't know. More of them? You come out of here with about 10 bags if you've got half the chance. No, I'm And then these delightful. This one's safe and over back to that. Well, I like the car. I was going to say it's the first store I've ever been into where you can buy an inflatable house. And your own fog machine. No, I'm not an expert, but that is not a Black Widow. More mugs. Halloween mug. Cool. Normal people scare me. This year's Spirit Halloween stuff is next year's landfill. This is just Emperor Palpatine's. I've just dropped one and I wasn't expecting it to smell so eggy first. I think maybe I should get this one. I don't think you need to. <laughs> He's got a better beard than me too. Surprising on iDrive, like how popular places are at this time of the day. <laughs> like everyone's out for brunch and a lot of places are doing bottomless mimosas, which sounds Even dangerous. Miller. Even Miller's, yeah. Even Denny's, no, Denny's isn't. <laughs> well, I don't know, we didn't ask. We also didn't get a second cup of coffee. So, we're back to our old favourite mini golf course. We're going to have a round of mini golf. We'll probably play the older course this time, see what that's like. I think it's supposed to be a bit easy. We're going to do the Captain's Adventure. This is apparently the easier of the two courses, but we have done the Blackbeard's one twice. So, we thought it, it a good... Why do why all the holes look like bum cheeks or something? They do give you a little, little pirate flex while you, you play in the course as well. Gemma's up first with the lilac ball. That's the lilac ball. Straight between the cheeks. <laughs> oh, 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 you just, just not quite. Mark turn with the um, Illuminous. Shouldn't you play yours? No, oh, I can do it like this, it's not. Yeah. Don't hit my ball. No guarantees. Illuminous. Illuminous ball. In for two. Gemma decided not to record my excellent skills of getting a number two. Why, why would I hand it to your recorder? Why would you? I don't have to edit all the bits, huh? 
where I'm swearing. Inside, isn't it? Mm, it's okay. How many was that? Three. Hmm, there's two holes here. They are both holes. Either. I mean, realistically, probably the longer ones are more fun to go for. This is why we should play separately. Our balls are in. Our balls are almost touching. And without touching your ball. Then we got a two, but I wasn't recording. Mark didn't get a two though. Oh, he did, the jammy bugger. Skill, play for jammy again. Jammy bugger, jammy bugger. Put the bomb out of my pants if I'm not careful. Full four. Some tricky logs to navigate. Oh, unlucky. Yeah, go for it. Oh. There's my balls in the water. Yeah. There are balls floating in the water. Hole in one. That's before I bend over the perfect. Oh, now we've got this uh, pesky little uh, wall ride to do here. Yeah. Is that a lizard in the way as well? Yeah, there is a lizard on the coast there, yeah. <laughs> Bonus points if you can. No, don't hit the lizard. Every ball? Yes, of course. Lining it up, all to play for. She hit the lizard's sail. The lizard's sail put spin back on it as well, so it came back. You can move away from the wall by a foot of length. I think that's the rules anyway. We'll say it is. No, the lizard still stood there, even though she hit its tail. I foresee a, a, a putter on international drive through someone's windscreen at this point. Oh Take your time, hon. I'll edit it and make it look like it was two. <laughs> Mark it the lizard too. It's an awkward one, this. Say again? It's an awkward one. Yeah, it really sticks to the edges, doesn't it? Is that a three? A three. Not a five like me, though. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Be wise. We do have a bit of a water hazard here. Over to the left. Oh. And I'm also not that far from the water. Yeah. 
That could have been a really good one. Oh, that's a complete failure. Well done. We have a drop off this time with a water hazard, so give it some welly. That's plenty of welly. So I have a lot of green, but not much to it. Oh! That's what's going to get bowled off. That was awesome in the hole. Well, it is someone's very hydrated. Yeah. Oh, out of bounds. He managed to hit the hole and bounce out and forget the green. plus one shot. Yeah. All those pants so knock it crappy away. Oh, yeah. So you've lined that up nicely. These are really quite straightforward holes. There's a little water that has a deer in there. Oh, that's the second time you've done that on the hole. I thought that was going in the water then. <laughs> Two. Line it up. Nice big bank curve on this one. And the hole's just over there. Now we've got one where you've got to get into one of the holes. And one of the holes leads down to the next deck. But which one's going to get you closer? Which one's she going to go for? It's a good hole in one, huh? Yeah. 
unfortunately that's not that's, I mean that's a pretty good one though isn't it alright should we try for the other hole for me two oh no she's cracked under pressure four drop off but no water hazard Well done! <laughs> Thank you for your support. That's fine. I keep getting static shots off the horse. That turned out to be a close run thing, didn't it? It did, yeah. You beat me by one shot. Yeah, 44 to 45. And you can't do maths. And I can't do maths. Even with though I was using a calculator. <laughs> and I also can't read my own handwriting. I think that's what the problem yeah. was. That was good. Enjoyed that. What are we doing now? Um, we are just going to carry on our fire drive, I think. Okay, sounds good. Just gonna have a minute here. Mm -hmm. Cool down. In the shed. Yeah, the first half of that course was quite shady. The second half was like blazing sun. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Yeah, try. Yeah, yeah. How much was it? Yeah, about thirty-five dollars. Yeah. Two of us. It's a lot cheaper for children. Yeah, and you can pick up discounts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We in just your, didn't. In your hotels, there's booklets with discounts. Can you just, book online? It well, might we be didn't. We didn't well. know we were coming, did we? Yeah. Mm, I did look online. I looked on that like, Get Your Guides, and it was going to be thirty-four. Oh, so, it's mm. very, very bad. Like this has been in every single of our international drive uh, vlogs at this point but yeah this was the mini golf that we visited it's the Pirates Cove Adventure Golf and it's right next to the Icon Park so you can watch people being sprung into the air on that uh, thing <laughs> there's loads coming up wasn't there? yeah it's popular today I mean it is a weekend so a lot of locals are probably out to explore today as well Back. I did check the uh, if you do fancy having a go on a slingshot, it's sixty dollars for one rider or a hundred, I think, for two. But it does include a T-shirt and a video, I think. Double check that though, because I was a it was a drive-by check of the price. I wasn't quite sure. I feel like I'm more familiar with that train sound from watching people's vlogs of being here than from actually being here myself. Turning around and coming back, we're going to get run over. This is the the no? Oh yeah, well, this is the coffee place we were planning on going to. Uh, although, I think it's all around the other side. Uh, but we also, we've already eaten now. There's the Illusion Place. Museum of Illusions. I think that used to be the, one of these used to be the Skeleton Museum. We have done all three of these attractions in the past, so we aren't going to do them today. Because if you only want to do one of them, it ain't cheap. But they used to give you pretty good deals on attraction tickets for free stuff. <laughs> so we managed to do them all for net cost zero to us, which was quite good, I thought. Yeah, I didn't like the waxworks at all. If you want to do all three attractions, it's $58, 53 for children. It's just 30, 30 odd to just do the wheels. And so basically, if you do all three, it works out a bit cheaper. There's Tin Root. And yeah, Gemma can smell fish because Gordon Ramsay's fish and chips is right next to it. <laughs> we were tempted to try one of the other bars here for drinks, but none of them have the choice. Yeah, who says? We came into uh, Yaddo's for a couple of beers. We got the Hells, which is the, the house beer, and Gemma got um, Terrapin. The road crunkle because of the name. Round two, Gemma went for the Stone Tangerine, Tangerine Express. Express, yeah. And I went for the Pompano Beach Toasted Coconut. This is one of the local beers, so it's brewed in Pompano Beach, Florida. The coconut cream ale is very nice. Oh, sweet coconut taste to it. On the move, we just had the loveliest Uber guy just uh, giving us a lift down here. And uh, we wanted to try this place called the Half Barrel Beer Project, which is a craft beer brewery and bar. Let's give it a try. A couple of beers, I got the Marzen, the uh, Half Barrel Beer Project leader goes in. Gemma got the beer that's disappeared. <laughs> the Briggs, Big Smishowski this day actually brew their own beers in house here. 
That's why I wanted to come in and try it out. That's lovely. Solid four on that one for me. We've also um, stumbled in up on, on Oktoberfest today at uh, this bar. So we've got some German beers on. Um, I went for a second beer, which was this um, Angry Chair <laughs> Two <laughs> Two pump chump coffee porter. Yeah. <laughs> what did you get? I got the 450 North XXL slushy. Sour. So it's like an orange sour, isn't it? It's like orange juice. <laughs> Gemma went in for like the most food like colourful of the beers. I mean, to be fair, it's colourful, but it's not blue. I've had blue beer in the past. And green, of course, from uh, Dizzle. Let's give this one a try. <laughs> that is very sweet. It's nice though, isn't it? Mmm. So, so they do have a fridge of dreams in here, and we went for... Well, I went for the Looking for Owls Imperial Cookie Stout. It's like 8.5%, so fairly decent, strong stout. Here goes. It's not a ghost. That's nice. Very cookie. That's going to be a 4.25 reason. The thing I should mention about it, it does not taste like an 8.5% stout. Very easy drinking. Be careful with that one. You like it? Good? Yeah, good. It's been a good fun place, this, must I admit. Lots of uh, dead crafty vibes, uh, places we go to in the UK. Dead crafty was influenced by uh, American craft beer bars, so makes sense. All right, last beer for the day is the Tactical Hype. It's a triple uh, New England IPA, 10% volume, 10 ounce draft. That's, that's tasty. That's going to be a 4.25 at least for me. We just check, checked out of this place and we peaked too early. We've got the we got final count down on there. <laughs> Gemma's furious. <laughs> so, uh... Half barrel beer project was good, <laughs> and now we're going to get a uh, get back to the Rosen and uh, maybe get some food in it from there. Might have to order. Yeah, I think we, we, we may in. order it. Yeah. I think good fun though. Order while we're in the cab. So. Definitely uh, come down this place if you're uh, if you like your craft beers. It's worth a visit. Really nice atmosphere in there. Really yeah. good music. We hit it a good time. It's October fest, so we were like. <laughs> Yeah, purely by accident. Tacky, tacky. Oh, <laughs> aye, 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 all the time. Yeah, it was good fun. Yeah. And we got absolutely slaughtered on beer. Yeah, but you know, hey ho. And we've got our Uber Eats from Red Robin. Nice burgers to eat. So we're going to head back to the room, enjoy some good burgers, and we'll probably catch up with you tomorrow. Uh, we'll show you the burgers when we get back to the room, yeah. actually. It's a beautiful evening, isn't it? It's the uh, the, the humidity. Been so nice, uh, yeah, the humidity's really dropped. The temperature's dropped. I think it's going to last until maybe Monday, Tuesday. We took full advantage yeah. of going to craft beer bars. Yeah, it was a good like a proper us day today. It was like proper being in like Liverpool when we got to yeah, Dead we went Crafty. Yeah, a little bit shopping, a little bit of food, beer. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the sky, Jim. It's beautiful. And thus we have returned to the room to find <laughs> that we can't get the lid off our dinner. Um, rather impressive looking burgers from Red Robin. This is a place we tried on the 2017 trip and enjoyed. So we thought we'd order, well, I, I, I can't, no yeah, I had no saying this. Jem ordered this on the way home and uh, it looks really good. So this, what was this, the barbecue burger? It was the barbecue burger, a mushroom burger. Lovely stuff. And there's Gemma's offering, a mushroom burger. 
I don't think there's mushroom left for discussion. Oh, God. <laughs> of course, if we're having burgers, we gotta flip the burger upside down, pinky up for extra flavor. <laughs> 